let's go find Clementine. Man, Lee was just holding that piece of glass at all. <laughs> no problem at all. That was so sick. Alright, where could Clem be? This door? This one? It's probably this one. Is there anything in there? Anyone? Oh Fuck it. Let's do it. The hell? He's obviously keeping something shut. Shit. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Oh, man. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Man. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. I still have that cleaver. The hell's he got in his bag? I am? Judge him by the car out front. Yeah. Got a little bit of idea. You, you saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you taking? Do you know what you took from me? I don't care. Fuck you. You have no idea. <sighs> have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. Man. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. 
Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. That was stupid. Do I look like a monster to you? No. No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! It's not my problem, man. How could you know all this? I mean, I know that's why you're angry now. But gotta do what we gotta do to survive. You're a murderer and a thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I'm sorry. I hear that. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. Shit. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh! Oh!
He would have come back. You're right, Clint. He would have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. How am I going to tell her about the bite, man? Let's ah. just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know. That happens when you get blood all over you. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. It's all right. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. We gotta get out of here. Come on. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Okay. Let's go, Clint. Come on. Good thinking, Lee. We'll mask our scent just like Rick and uh, Glenn did back in season one episode. Episode, I believe it's. I believe it's episode two. I believe. Oh no. Entitled Guts. Yeah, this is gonna suck, Clem. I'm sorry. A little bit more, Clem. Just a little more. It's so gross. <sighs> there. That should do it. Alright, we gotta get out of here, Clem. Come on. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. Ah, Clem. I thought you were gone. I kept it in my ass for you. <laughs> Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. As I keep everything in my ass, including Don't guns, panic. meat cleavers. <laughs> I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Man, seriously, this guy must have a really big back pocket. Either that, or he just shoves everything up his ass. I don't know. He just always seems to put everything back there. <laughs> 